Hello. Hi. Greetings, and welcome to this video cassette production on timing aircraft magnetos to an aircraft engine. This is an aircraft engine. And this is a magneto, which provides the spark to the aircraft engine. Today, my colleagues and I will demonstrate in detail how exactly you time an aircraft magneto to the engine. Thank you for watching. What's this? This is a Bendix S4LN-21 left-hand rotation aircraft magneto part number 10-51360-6. The purpose of timing the Bendix S4LN-21 is to prepare the magneto to send a spark to the number one cylinder at the correct time for proper engine operation. Here are the internals of a Bendix S4LN-21 left-hand rotation aircraft magneto prior to reassembly. In order to check the internal timing on the Bendix S4LN-21 aircraft magneto, please reassemble the magneto according to the manufacturer's specifications set out in the S4LN service manual. To test the internal timing of the Bendix S4LN-21 magneto, connect one of the colored leads from your magneto timing light to the primary lead from the S4LN-21. Upon turning the rotor, the points should open when the red chamfered tooth lines up with the inspection window. That's pretty neat. Now, to discuss the initiation of timing the S4LN-21 aircraft magneto to the aircraft engine, I'm going to hand it over to our aircraft engine expert. The first thing we have to do is locate cylinder one. Would you mind showing me where cylinder one is? Now this is cylinder one, and you can tell because of the way it is. Actually, you can tell because it has a number one there indicated right by the cylinder. The first thing you want to do is remove the spark plug. The spark plug is going to be at the top here, and you just want to start switching it off. After removing the spark plug, you want to find compression stroke on the engine. To do that, you will place your finger over the hole where the spark plug was until you feel air pressing out against your thumb. Would you please cover the hole? Okay, he's now covering the hole, and I will turn the prop, and then he's going to let me know um, when the air starts blowing up. Wow, that's some good air. Blowing out. We have now found the compression stroke of the engine. Now that the compression stroke of cylinder one has been found, we need to align and find the top dead center of that piston. On this engine, the starter ring gear has markings on it, which will indicate where top dead center is. I'm going to use the markings here that say TC for top center. Behind the gear is going to be an alignment hole that we're going to stick a pin into to make sure we are in the exact right place. So I'm now turning the prop to make sure that it is exactly aligned with that hole. I'm going to stick the pin here into that hole and then make sure they are in the exact right place. We have now found top dead center of piston one. Now that we found top dead center of cylinder one, we want to know how much before that we want the magneto to fire. To do that, I'm going to reference the data plate right here. It's telling me to use 22.5 degrees. Coming back to the ring gear, I have two indications on here for 20 and 25. These both indica indicate the degree behind which top dead center we want to align the prop.
And then same as with finding top dead center, we want to use the timing pin here to make sure we have found the exact alignment. At this point right here, our magneto is now ready to be installed onto the engine. Now that the correct time before top dead center has been found, the S4LM-21 magneto is ready to be placed into the accessory case. Right. Now that the magneto has been connected to the engine, we need to fine tune it to the engine with the use of a timing light. We're going to connect the green wire to the lead, connect the red and black wires to ground. We now want to turn on the timing light, and we want to find the place right in between where the sound comes on and turns off. We have now fine-tuned the magneto to the engine. Ta-da! We can now secure and tighten the magneto to the engine. We are now ready to ensure that the magneto has been properly timed to the engine. And the best way to do that is to slightly nudge the prop into position and make sure that the indication markings here are aligned. 